1935, a Franco-Egyptian survey team, mapping caravan routes west of Abu, Ballas discovered a row of sandstone pillars half buried in the dunes. They stood in a perfect arc facing the horizon, each carved with weathered inscriptions. At first, the team assumed they were simple, boundary markers, until epigrapher Emile Davernas noticed something strange. Each pillar bore the name of a different ancient ruler, none belonging to the same kingdom or the same century. They came from Kush, Egypt, Nabatea, and even distant Dadan, nine kings whose reigns never overlapped in life, yet stood together in stone. The inscriptions were arranged not chronologically, but mathematically. Between each royal name was a sequence of short strokes and dots. When Davernas copied the marks into his notebook, he realized they matched a numerical progression, one that corresponded to a 3,600-year astronomical cycle known only from later, Mesopotamian tablets, how desert stonemasons in the Western. Sahara acquired such knowledge remains unexplained. Further examination revealed something even more intriguing. The king's names represented rulers, whose reigns were marked by unusual celestial events, a comet in 164 BCE, a meteor fall recorded in Kushite annals, a solar eclipse in 763 BCE, when the pillar's positions were plotted, they formed a giant curve that mirrored the path of a long-period comet. Modern astronomers estimate last passed near Earth thousands of years ago. Local Bedouin oral tradition calls the formation Qalam al-Muluk, the king's cipher. Elders say it marks a time when the desert sky turned red for a night, and travelers spoke of omens written in the heavens. No historical text describes such an event, yet the pillars silently point to it with geometric precision. Some scholars argue the cipher was a late inscription created by passing scribes, but erosion patterns suggest the carvings are far older than their recorded kings. Others believe the site was an ancient archive, an attempt to preserve memory through alignment, not parchment. Why gather nine rulers separated by centuries? Why encode their reigns within a cosmic cycle no known desert culture tracked? Perhaps the builders saw patterns the rest of the world forgot to record, or perhaps they believed that history, like the sky, speaks in intervals, and the cipher was their way of warning those who would one day understand. Hi, it's Chini. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, follow, or subscribe to get notified when a new story drops. It's also the best way to support our channel.